So I have seen people trying to open up the bottle cap with doing stuff. What I'm gonna try to do, try to open this cap with a bullet, the 5.56. Let's go ahead and try it. What we're using today, this is actually what I have today. It's a green tip 5.56, stack arm. The weapon is clear. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so this is what I always wanted to try. I tried it once. Um, I put it on my Instagram. You guys can check it out. I want to see if I can hit a bullet with the bullet. And if I do, what's going to happen? So I'm going to try to hit a night meal with the 5.56. And the reason why I chose 556 five, because it's much easier with this gun. I mean, in my opinion, I can uh, hit much better with this gun on smaller target. I'm gonna try it. We'll see if I can do do it or not. Let's go ahead and try it. Try. Are you guys ready? Uh huh. Eyes and ears. I can't even. Jesus, that is too goddamn small. All right, so we spent about like 10, 15 minutes looking for the bullet. We couldn't find it. But this time, um, we're gonna put something behind it. So maybe you can catch the bullet if possible. If possibly, I can hit it again. That was the second round that I did it. And then I haven't seen even the GoPro footage yet. So we're gonna add, add that footage uh, onto the video as well. So you guys can see what happened to it. And all right, second round. Let's see if this time, first, if we can hit the bullet, second, if we can, we're gonna find it. Are you guys ready? Uh huh. Five, five, six. First It kind of felt like it exploded. Look over here. That is just a projectile. I don't see any jacket over here or a casing. Hopefully we can catch something this time. We're getting actually very confident. Twice I hit it. I'm getting confident. Y'all ready? This time I'm hoping if I can hit it, it's gonna throw the 9mm inside this box right here and then we're gonna be able to have the casing to see what happens to it. Alright, let's go ahead and try it. Ready? Yep. Locked and loaded. I missed. I hit! Weapon is clear! 
obviously we have a lot of unburned uh, powder over here obviously it didn't explode that's what I was expecting and here's the bullet this is my souvenir today we finally caught it so next round it's gonna be um, 50 cal 500 smear of Wesson that's gonna be the bullet that I'm trying to hit let's go ahead and try that so here's the next round that we're going to try uh, it's a 325 grain uh, for 500 smear of Wesson this is obviously a little bit bigger than uh, 9 so I'm, I'm very confident that I can hit it all right let's go ahead and try it all right 556 five, versus the 500 magnum I mean 500 smear do so look at it can you bring it out he actually didn't I he did went through it so it went this side and he cut it through and went out did he went through this yep he went through the box as well look at the hole it's, it's interesting uh, this is the first one that I missed on the nine mil the hole is a little bit smaller and this is the one that I hit this 500 so probably when you hit it it expanded and the hole is a little bit bigger on the box all right so next round is it going to be a 556 versus a 556 fire in the hole Marksmanship, marksmanship. Weapon is clear. Do we have the jacket? Not the jacket. Okay. Yes, we do. This plan is actually working, huh? Again, the projectile is in place. A clean in and out hole right there. Unburnt powder. Stop the GoPro. Next round. 12 gauge. Let's try it. Alright, so first target is going to be the buckshot on the primer. I don't think I'm going to be that accurate with this one. Weapon is hot! Fire the hole! That was a hit, I would say. I'm going to go for the slug next. He actually threw the slug out of the box, dude. Oh, I believe so. Shit. Weapon is clear. Holy moly. What's going on over here? <gasps> Ooh. Here's the slug. Look at back here. That he exploded. slug I hit it right on the slug it probably pushed it through the shelling and it pushed it out of the box that's what I believe happened so let's find what happened to the box shot I see a green casing yes, I can see it. okay so I missed on the box shot I was trying to hit the prime I missed it for about a half inch or an inch maybe so let's go ahead and try to shoot this all right so we're gonna try it again same thing um, I have a slug and a box shot I'm gonna try to hit the box shot on the primer and I'm gonna try to hit the slug on the slug itself and um, we're not trying this at all we're not professionals we're kind of professionals we're trying to be professionals don't try to be professional <laughs> all right let's go ahead and try it again we have the box shot on the left uh, we have the slug on the right. Y'all ready? Uh-huh. Weapon is hot. Safety is off. Box shot first. I pulled out my ears. Find a hole. Everything falls on the ground. Weapon is clear. Let's see what happens. It's 
this right here. Oh, that's the slot. I missed. Let's try it again. Okay, let's try again. I missed it by about an inch. Half an inch, maybe. The pin is hot. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. I know. From that box shot. So I bet that box shot is exploding. So here we are. I exactly did what I wanted to do. I missed the primer, a primer by a little bit, but I actually did ignite it. And this is what happened to it. Time for the stock. All right, so last one for today. Uh, we'll try to hit the lead from the stock, facing uh, facing towards me actually. So let's give it a try. Y'all ready? Yeah. Rifle is hot. Fire in the hole. There, there's some bunch of, come right here, let me show you. This is it, this whole this right. This is right there? No, the oh, whole. Actually, right now. So let, everything's falling apart. <laughs> there's some part of the, the lid over here. This is actually from the box shot that he actually exploded. There's another one right here. There's a hole on the table. And let's see if we can find the slug itself. So I had this wood right behind it. I don't see the part of that slug anywhere. We did spend about 10-15 minutes looking for the stock. This is all I could find. Uh, obviously it did not explode. I think it did not explode. It just ripped it open, flew about like 10 yards away. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know if you have any ideas what to shoot. We'll do it for you. And if you like this video, give, us a, give it a thumbs up, make a comment, and see you next time.
So here we are. I exactly did what I, what I wanted to do. I missed the primer, a primer by a little bit, but I actually did ignite it. And this is what happened to it. Time for the stock. Slag, dat is